television center in Los Angeles. This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. A marriage with few ups and downs may be a signal of trouble ahead. A revolutionary new book sheds light on modern marriages and the warning signs your partner might be cheating. From the outside looking in, most people thought we had the perfect marriage. Don Ferguson thought he had it all. Until I found out that for seven months, my wife had been having an affair with my best friend of 17 years. It was devastating. So these were the two people in my life I felt I could trust and depend on. Ferguson turned to this guy, renowned uh, psychotherapist uh, and author uh, Morris Sheckman, who told uh, him he had it coming. I was doing nearly everything wrong. You know, you know, most people in our culture don't understand intimacy. Intimacy is about self-disclosure and conflict. Without the conflict, you never really connect. And we have taught people for so long avoid conflict, and then they have empty, boring marriages that lead to affairs. Sheckman and his wife, Arlia, also a psychotherapist, just authored Love in the Present Tense, a candid look at modern marriages. We now live in a time where the only reason to be alive is to learn. So if you're not learning, uh, you're dying. And that's the status of a lot of marriages in this country. They're dead. You hire someone to cook. I can hire someone to clean. I can hire someone to change my bed and all those kinds of things, pick up my laundry. It doesn't take uh, a sophisticated person to do that. In the book, the Sheckmans offer the following warning signs that your marriage might be ripe for an affair. You don't challenge each other. You and your partner have, as the Sheckmans put it, become an amoeba, just a blob without lives of your own. Everything centers on the children. You don't have meaningful conversations. One person lives selflessly for the other. Don Ferguson said his first marriage checked off all of the above. We seldom, if ever, challenged each other. The Sheckman say the keys to modern marriage are identical values, personal growth, and personal goals. If you have no goals, you are boring. And people don't want to be married to boring people anymore. Don Ferguson credits the heartache of his past for leading him to a successful second marriage. The two most important people who have made a positive contribution in my life are my ex-wife and my ex-friend. And literally, if they hadn't done what they did in the exact way they did it, I don't think I'd be where I am today with a great wife and a great life. In their book, The Sheckmans debunk some common advice. They say compromise is the kiss of death, and having low expectations of your partner is a form of abandonment. They also say most marriages are salvageable as long as each partner is willing to grow.